Hey Stitch Cuties, I'm Brittany and I'm Julie and together we're, we're the mother-daughter mother duo of Stitches of Love. Welcome to our video today where we are launching Garden Girls. Garden Girls. Are you all so excited? I can't believe it's finally here. I Well for you, you had to sew everything and stitch everything by hand so it took a while. You've been it's working been on it a, a while. Yep. <laughs> it's been a minute. Exactly. Um, so, sorry, something popped up on the screen about the technical difficulty. We're not going to have any um, of those today. <laughs> let's hope not. I know. Okay, so what we are going to do today in the video is, of course, take you through pictures of all of the blocks and explain everything you get as a member of the Garden Girls Hand Embroidery Block of the Month. And we're also going to review all of the super cute notions that we've put together for you for this quilt. You ready to get started? I'm ready. Okay, so first here is, well, the quilt is behind us, but I'm also gonna add pictures to the screen so you can see it. And also if you visit our website, stitchesoflovequilting.com, click on Garden Girls, you'll be able to see all these pictures up close. It's Just fun to see them up close, they're so cute. It's so beautiful the way it's stitched and then the fabric and the way it's quilted, it's really lovely. So without further ado. And it was so much fun to do. I really love it and I have to say, I, I brought this quilt home the other day to my house. It really matches. It matches your house? I really want it uh -oh. in my house. I'll share a picture maybe soon. Of how great it I'll looks. I'll tell you though, they they stay living up here for a long time. A long time, but yeah. one day hopefully it gets to come to my house permanently because I want it. Or maybe I'll just sew one. I could be a member of our own club. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so here is the quilt on the screen for you. So it features, well, let me tell you the size. It's 46 inches by 58 inches. There are a total of 14 boxes that you get in this club. So your first 12 boxes are hand embroidery boxes. So you're going to stitch a girl every month and we'll go through those up close in just a minute. And what's wonderful is they are pre-printed on the dissolvable um, stabilizer. So after you sit, you don't have to trace anything. And after you stitch it, you just rinse it away. It's amazing. And also in the club included, of course, your fabrics. But all of your sulky 12 weight hand embroidery threads, you get a total of 57 spools of thread, all different colors, really beautiful. So when you open your box, you're ready to go. You're ready to go. Then on the 13th month, you get the um, quilt. You can see there are half square triangles as one of the inner borders. And that is all in block in box 13. You make all of those half square triangles that month. And then the last box, box 14, is your finishing kit with all of the sashing fabrics and then your inner and outer border and your binding. So fun. Very much fun. So this quilt is a collaboration with our friends at Adorn It and Lindsay Ostrom. So you want to tell us about how you and Lindsay work together to get the sure. art? Well, Lindsay, as you know, or I hope you know, is a talented, very talented artist. She mm -hmm. does creative lettering and she draws these amazing little pictures. And so anyway, I will send a message to Amy. She's in California. We're in Florida. So Lindsay. I mean, Lindsay. Who did I say? Amy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Amy's another one of our artists. But anyway, <laughs> Lindsay is in California and I send her a message and I say, hey, Lindsay, can you do this for me? And can I have it like this? So in this case, I said, can I have 12 girls that are gardening and, you know, with flowers and stuff? And, and I want these words with them. And so I give her the 12 words and basic idea. And then she just runs with it and always like she gets me in my head. She sends me back <laughs> stuff and it's just perfect. And then you get to have fun coloring it with thread, coloring it and, and bringing it together quilt. and design the quilt. Yeah. And then our friend Georgina at um, adorn it prints all of the patterns on that um, the pre-printed hand embroidery design sticker which is also we refer to it sometimes as that dissolvable stabilizer and she also works with Lindsay to clean up all of Lindsay's art in the computer for the perfect lines yeah, that are on your it, pattern she makes it nice and smooth exactly so it's a really fun collaboration everybody gets to have like a little creative and input and uh, Jordana is in Utah, so none of us are actually together. I know, it's really funny. Maybe we'll all see each modern, other at market. <laughs> modern technology is how this works. Exactly. Well, and we've gotten to do, we've got to do several, several collaborations with them, so it's really fun. 
Yeah. So super cute Lindsay art on the quilt. And then, of course, a beautiful quilt designed by Julie. Yeah. Okay, so now I know you just want to see all of the fun pictures. So we're going to go into all of those pictures. Now, if you're familiar with our Block of the Month Clubs, you know when you join, we like to send you a free gift. And really the purpose of that free gift is so you get a little bit of practice in before you start your real quilt. Because the quilts you make with us, I think, really become cherished pieces. They're not, you know, a lap quilt you're going to let your dog lay on or anything. These are really special quilts for your oh, family. You know. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> Every now and then our dogs do, but we don't like it. <laughs> but when you first join, your free gift with this club is this super cute berry pin cushion that you see on the screen. And what's great about that, if you've never worked with that pre-printed dissolvable stabilizer, you get to practice with it to make this berry pin cushion. And you get to do some embroidery stitches, but nothing real exciting other than a back stitch and a French knot. And a French knot. So you get to practice lots of French knots. But if you you could do whatever stitching you, could you want add on it. Fancy stitches if you want to. Oh, and there's a cross stitch on it. You mm -hmm. know, basically Just a little X, X. So like an X and a plus. And the little welcome kit also includes the cute little um, felt topping. They're pre-cut, the little felt pieces. So there's full four wool felt pieces that make the flower on top. So the only thing you need to provide is the filling. See, so this gives you a good idea how big it is. It's, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's a little berry. And with the pattern, you could trace it again on extra fabric you have around your house and make extras because I know mom, like you want a bowl of them. I want a bowl of berries. <laughs> they're really cute. So you'll have that pattern. Yeah. Exactly. So that's what you get right away when you join. Now this club is going to renew on the 12th of every month. So whenever the next time the calendar hits the 12th, that will be when you have your first renewal and your first block ships to you. And in that block, you get to make the garden girl of the garden girl's quilt. And she's first. You get seven spools of thread in that box. Yes. I'm going to tell you how many spools of thread you get every month because it's exciting, I think. Okay. You also get your background fabric, which all of the fabric in this quilt, the background of each block is Dapple Dot by Riley Blake. It's a tone on tone white print. So it's a very subtle print that's great mm -hmm. for stitching. So you don't have to worry about getting a dot like in the middle of her forehead or on her nose. <laughs> She's not going to be too freckled. You, know, you don't have to worry about placement. Exactly. And then every month during the first 12 months of the 14 months of the club, you will get four different prints that are a variety of hometown and calico, which are two fabric lines designed by Lori Holt for Riley Blake designs. So really cute prints that you see on the blocks. You get those every month. So after you do all of your stitching, dissolve it away, you'll actually piece that block and then set it aside as you wait for your next month. Okay. okay, then we go to the create block, which is the second one. The second one, and you get six spools of thread in this one. She's so fun. She's so cute, right? Yes. I really love her. Her little bun hair, I think, is just adorable. <laughs> Princess I, Leia. I haven't picked a favorite, except I really love one of the overalls. I don't know. As we go through, uh, you can comment is, what you think is your favorite. My favorite is Thrive. Is Thrive? Okay, we'll get to that one in just a second. It's coming up. It's block six. Mm -hmm. So next up for block three, we have Bloom. And in that one, you get five spools of thread. And this one is where I think the first block where you get to do the fishbone feather stitch, which we filmed a tutorial already for you. How about a blanket that? stitch? I know I do that in there. You do that coming up. That actually might be on Thrive. I'll, I'll it's point on out. Scallop? It's not on oh, her no, scallop. It's not on hers. Okay. Sorry, it's coming. Excuse me. We'll look for it. But we have all those videos already filmed for you. Yeah. Then the next month, block four. So this is your fourth box that you get. You get three spools in it. She's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Isn't she pretty? I really love how you colored it as well. Look at her hair. Sure. Her know. hair is just blowing. It's very fun. She's kind of like a little bit of a hippie. <laughs> her says bliss. Bliss. She looks like she's just in true bliss. I mean, bliss is, yeah, if you're in a little field of flowers and picking flowers in the breeze. It's just, <laughs> you know, you can just have, when you're stitching these, you just get to have all these pleasant thoughts because they're so cute. They're so fun. I really love them. Yeah. Now we are on to what you get in your fifth box is Sprout, and you get three spools of thread again. Oh, yeah. She's cute, too. <laughs> she might be one of my favorites. And this, um, in that very first flower next to the broom is where you have the buttonhole circle. What's wagon it called? wheel. Wagon wheel stitch. That's a really fun one to do, and it's stitched in 
Oh, we forgot to mention this. Every single month, one of the spools is a variegated thread or a blendable, as Sulky calls it. So you really, in building your thread collection, get a lot of really fun colors. Yeah, and the, the blendable thread is actually the frame around the girl. Yeah, each frame yeah. is a blendable. Mm -hmm. So there's like one focal color every month. And actually, when you were coloring it, you designed it around that to have one blendable every month. Yeah, I kind of chose the blendable and mm -hmm. then chose the and other then colors. Colored. Yeah, because not only are these blendables, but these are their newest collection of blendables. Yeah, they, they introduced what? 120 colors? I think there's 60 more. 60 these more? Second. I don't know. They, they introduced so many, but this was the the most recent bunch. We actually got this bunch when in March. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're, yeah, they're new colors as well. So you might not have them yeah. in your thread collection yet, yeah. which is fun. Mm -hmm. So then this is your favorite mom coming up. This is Thrive and you get uh, four spools of thread in this month. I think it's so cute. Her outfit, she has like little polka dotted garden wellies on. Yep which I just love. And she has a little bun hair again, too. I like that. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And the flowers there, you did really beautiful stitches on that. So next up, your seventh block is Blossom, and she has four spools of thread. I adore her little overalls. Yes, and I like she's got um, leaves in her hair. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. And then for your eighth box, you get so. I love her hair piece. Like, I truly would. I love headbands. I would wear that. Wouldn't that oh, be she's, fun? She's adorable. We should have done that for today. We should have dressed up. And that's kind of a Lindsay trait. She Lindsay likes to do girls with things coming out of their head. Absolutely. So cute. We should have, for today, made big floral headbands. She did something for us that had um, sewing moti motifs things, coming out. Like spools of thread and uh -huh. stuff. Anyway, it was, it was super cute. So then your ninth block is Harvest, and that you get eight spools of thread that month. She's really cute because she, she's not really juggling it. They're just kind of floating above her, but there's a pear, a pumpkin, um, carrots, an apple. It's just really cute fall harvest vibe, and she also has on super cute overalls again mm -hmm. with little puff sleeves. Beside a basket of apples. Which is very fun. It is like, is that apple season, the fall? Yeah, apples. Yeah, why not? I just genuinely don't know. We don't live where apples don't grow in Florida. No, no, just oranges. So the next month is your 10th block, and you get four spools with her, and she is grow. Here's where you're talking about yeah, the, um, the buttonhole scallops. On her scallop. And that, again, is a variegated thread, which adds a lot of really cool visual interest in her dress, the details there. Mm -hmm. And what's fun is as you're stitching this, you can add additional stitches or polka dots or stripes or whatever you want to do to like add. I think they're and perfect as is, but if you want to customize, yeah, you can. Then your 11th block is Faith and you get six spools. And this turned out to be, I think, oddly one of my favorites because at first I was like, I don't know if I like her, but then once you colored her and stuff and she's got the navy on her, the blue, mm -hmm. I really love how she turned out. And her hair, is her hair the one that's the lazy daisies? Lazy daisies. I can't see it well enough, but I think so. Yep. So, so it's really, really cute. Oh, I'm pushing sorry. you. I didn't mean to push her. I just want y'all to be able to see her, not hidden behind the. I forget that there's this thing popped up in the middle of the screen. <laughs> I'm not looking at the screen. I try not to. <laughs> So then the 12th block, so this is your last um, box that has your hand embroidery in it. And it is block 12, believe, and you get four spools of thread. She's really cute under, what is it called? A arch. An archway with flowers on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a harder word than that. <laughs> and to me, believe was a little nod towards Christmas, Christmas. So that's why I put it at December. Exactly. Or in the 12th spot. I love it. She's so cute. So then your 13th block, because remember there's 14 boxes in total. So on that 13th month, you make a whole bunch, I don't know how many off the top of my head, but a whole bunch of half square triangles. And again, all of those are the 24 colors that are your block borders every month. You get 24 pieces of fabric that are the calico and the hometown prints as well. And then you also get the 
I guess you call it the background fabric that goes with your half square triangles. And it is called Tea Dye Hometown Butterfield. I know that's a name. That's what it's called. I didn't name it. It's a super, I don't <laughs> yeah. know. Do you think they can see the print? Yeah, it's like a little floral, a little tiny um, floral with mm -hmm. turquoise. Well, um, the Lori, light teal. Lori Holt calls it cottage, I believe, is the actual. Mm. You know, she calls it teal. Mm. I don't know. Butterfield anyway. is the name of the print. Tea dye is technically the color. But to um, me, it is more of a cottage. It's cute. We don't know what. It's just super cute. We joke around the office that some of these skews on the newer fabric lines are just too much for your she, head. Well, she named the, instead of naming them all color, she named them after people. Things. Some of them are after people. Yeah. Um, you don't care about the skews. You just care that it's cute. Yeah. We care about the skews. It's kind of hard for us. We're, we're being <laughs> challenged. <laughs> we really are. Um, but it, all you need to know is there are 24 adorable, cute prints, and then one additional print that serves as the background of the half square triangles. Is that a good way to say it? Sure. Okay. We'll take it. And then your last box, your 14th box, this is your finishing kit. So you can see the sashing is that same print. We're going to call it the Butterfield print. So that same fabric is your sashing. So you get all your sashing fabric. Then you get that narrow inner border and you get your wide outer border. And then you get your binding fabric, which is really, really cute, kind of like circular print. And it's a teal color. It's very pretty. Tealish green. Tealish green. I have the color written down, but I'm not going there. Excuse. <laughs> is it outline? Maybe. I don't know. It's teal. Something. We call it internally. I'm calling it teal. Okay for the office okay. teal. So um, if you're wondering who the cute dog is in this picture, it's Buttons, my dog. She helped me take pictures the other day. So there's Buttons. She approves of the quilt. Yeah, mm -hmm. Ellie does too. Okay, good. Yeah, that's mom's dog. Who is okay. somewhere. Somewhere right down here, here sleeping. Right down here beside me. She's yeah. pretty much always beside me. Always. Unless she goes downstairs to visit Brittany. Yeah thinking she'll get treats or something good. Yeah. So that is an overview of the quilt and the pictures of it. So now we are going to go into all of the notions that go with this quilt. So again, for all of the details, you can visit our website, stitchesofloveclilting.com. Right on the homepage, you click learn more about the Garden Girls, and it takes you to a page with all of these details. And it also takes you to a link about all of the notions that we're about to talk about as well. So we are going to start with the Garden Girls Perfect Project Bag. And this is something that mom wanted to put together for everybody because I love project bags. There you go. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got to have somewhere to store things. And I'm learning that because I do so many different things all the time, I've got to have some way to sort of keep organized. So Absolutely. A project bag for each project. So it really helps. what you get in here, you have your bag, which on the screen, it's reading kind of green. It really is more of a teal color in real life. I think they call it misty. This is going to be our theme today. We don't know the colors, um, but it is more teal to match the quilt. So the bag that you get actually is more teal, but it's gingham like this. And then you can see where the little Garden Girls logo is. That is a tin that you can use to store little goodies and spools and things it's, like that. It's really large. It is. Three inches? Yeah, I didn't write it down, but it's three and a half inches by three and a half inches by two and an eighth inches, I believe. So your um, spools can pop in. Where, where's the camera? There. <laughs> I mean, your spools of thread if you wanted to, you know, take a block with you on the go. Not all 57 spools. Fit. Well, they won't have them all like at the beginning. Exactly. I'm sure you could fit seven of them in here. And like um, your little screwdriver, your um, wax, little, your test tube of needles. Yeah, just whatever. It's, it's good. It's big enough to hold quite a few things, but not too big that it's annoying in your project bag. Yeah. So it was a perfect size, we thought. So you get yeah. that. And then also in your project bag, you get a hand poured wax. This is the Just Be Wax that we actually hand pour here. I don't like pouring it, <laughs> but honestly, it's the best wax. So we keep doing we get, it. We get so many good reviews about it. Yeah, yeah. so we're just going to keep doing it. 
Yeah. Slowly and not giant quantities. Like we used to do way more quantities. Um, there's a kitchen you get a that cutter, shows that. Which is um, one of Lori Holt's Busy Bee Cutters. Mm -hmm. And this is brand new. They are so cute. They're, it's a little bee and it's got... It's about an inch. I'm trying to figure out which end is it on. At the front. It's in the front, kind of under its little head. It's almost like he bites the thread. It's like a little, it's just a little blade in there. So you just could put a shit in there and it'll cut. Cut your thread. Yeah. So it's nice and small. It also has a little sticker on the back if you wanted to stick it. Oh my gosh, you know where you could stick it? You could just right stick inside it. your lid. Mm -hmm. yep. Cute. I don't so, stick mine though, personally. I don't either. I drag mine around too many different places. And then the cutest thing. Yes. This is a little pot. <laughs> With a flower. Well, it's a charm. See, it's got a little um, uh, lobster clasp type connector. And then it's a pink flower with a little plaid. And it matches, matches your matches bag. The bag. And you could just clip it on your zipper pull. And so cute. They are so handy. And this is one and a half inches wide by two inches tall. The charm itself. The charm itself. And the little wax is about an inch, inch and a quarter. And then your little bee is an inch. So they're all cute little jobbies that mm -hmm. can fit in your little tin. Yeah. So that is the Garden Girls Perfect Project bag. Now, other items you'll probably want to add on to keep in your bag because you're sewing after all. The skin tones, I'll let you talk about that because I know you love the skin tones. We don't have them up here. They're on the screen. Okay. Well, the reason I came up with a skin tone collection of threads is because I think it's important for everybody. If you want to, well, let me back up. I stitch all these in the basic flesh color that we peach. put in peach. That we put in with your very first month because it just happens to be kind of pink like we are <laughs> well <laughs> it's but i but i recognize that and i would have done this in my own i would change their the color of their skin tones based on whatever however i was doing their hair or whatever i wanted mm -hmm. to do and i thought other people would want to do that too but i can't do that on my sample because I can only get it's easy just to show it one way. Yeah, and just show one way. And so that's what you get. But I thought everybody would want some variety. So here we have these other colors. Mm -hmm. So there's a lighter one. There's They just go through flesh color. Exactly. Threads. And they also, you can tell by the colors, some of them would be good hair colors too. Like one kind of reads as on auburn hair. Yeah. So we call them skin tones, but they can help aid in some fun colors for your hair or, as well. Or other things. Yeah. yeah. Anything, Anything you want to stitch with it. Yeah. So, and actually on these, on these girls, there's not that much flesh that gets stitched. No. They're mostly in their cute clothes and stuff. Exactly. Every now and there's like a little hand or a neck and that's pretty much it. Sides of the cheek. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it's not a lot of flesh. To but what's stitch. fun is you can, and this goes with their dresses, their shoes, the flowers, especially as you get several months into the club and you have even more thread colors to work with, you can start kind of treating the thread like coloring crowns and color everything how you want it, which I think is fun. Mm -hmm. And you can make it like if you're making this as a gift for someone in particular, you can make every girl kind of look like her. And then on this one, we do tell you the exact color that I used. We in have little arrows. Location. Georgiana made little arrows and I made a little table for her. So there's arrows pointing. Now I will tell you, we point to like navy one time and you do have to use your eyes to see where other navy is in that block. We just point yeah. out that color one time and then you. That that's what this color mm -hmm. is. But in the pattern also, we've included a color table that does list out every item. Mm -hmm. So you can make it look exactly like the sample or you can have fun customizing it. Yeah. And I will say what I love about the skin tones thread kit in particular is more than half of the people that sign up for um, Girls Life is when we originally made the skin tones thread kit. Over half of the people buy it. So I think it's really fun that everyone's customizing their quilt. I think it's... It was all your idea. I think it's perfect. great. Perfect. I mean, I wanted to do that, but... I know. <laughs> oh, well. You can make a second one for my house where they all have brown hair. No. Okay. Which I tried, y'all. My sister is doing... Her has done that, I think, at some point. She made one with all blonde hair like her granddaughter. Exactly. So you can make yeah. it look like whoever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. Now you're using all this thread. You need to have something to stitch with. So we recommend a size number seven tulip needle. 
They are so cute. They come, you can see on the screen, there's a little test tube. They come, you get six needles and a little bitty test tube. And it's so cute with a little cork top. And I love these needles. They're super sharp and they have a um, big enough eye hole where it's not too hard to thread. Yeah, they really are much easier to thread. Yeah, we also have number nine and number 10 needles. They're both sharp tips as well. And I can't remember, one of them has a small eye. I think it's number nine. Number nine is a little bit shorter. Too, shorter. Yeah. So it's up it's to a, you what size. However, you know, whatever kind of needle you like that makes you happy, mm -hmm. that's what you should stitch with. But you stitched number seven. I use number seven. That's what I there like. There you go. Lucky number seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we also have, this is, oh, it's a little hard to see on the screen. It's the Hand Embroidery Pocket Guide, which I did count. There are 52 different stitches in there. Oh. I know. Don't worry. There's not 52 stitches in the quilt. We only use 11 stitches in the quilt. And again, there is a video tutorial posting every Monday for those. It's laminated. So great. Folds up like a map for those of you who remember maps. Perfect for keeping in your project bag with you for when you Except forget a stitch. Easy to fold. It does always fold back the right way. And I but have, it fits in there nicely. So that's good. I wrote down the size for you all too. It's eight and a half inches tall and it's 4.625 inches wide. So in case you're curious. So it definitely would fit in the typical project bag. 100%. I think this is great. My thing, and always having this with me, is every now and then you go to do a different stitch and you're like, wait, how do I start that? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I do that. So that's really handy. Because you don't stitch with it all the all time. All the time. Like, you're like, you never have to think about how to do a back stitch. You always I know, just know because you've done it so many times. Mm -hmm. So that's why. It's okay. But if I was going to do a buttonhole, wheel, fishbone, feather boat, no, I'm making up stitches now. I'd use my book. <laughs> feather bone. That's what is it called? Fish bone, feather bone? It's like feather. There's a feather stitch in a fish bone stitch. It's but something. Brittany wrong. has a feather bone. I have a feather bone. <laughs> I got funny bone. Um, okay, so next, this is something um, new that we're carrying because you love them and you've always <laughs> used them. Well, for a while. For a while. A couple years. This is called a Nurge. N-U-R-G-E. Oop. It's yeah. made of beech wood. Very nice. Super soft. This particular one is a number five, and it is 0 0.31 inches in depth of the hoop. That's and then very narrow. your diameter is 8.66 inches. I also on the website have that in millimeters. In the, case reason, you think in millimeters. the reason I enjoyed stitching with this one is because basically your field of the girls, they fit in an H, they fit in here, so you don't have to rehoop. Yeah, that's specifically why we have this size. Yeah. That's what I liked about it. And it fits in your project bag. That too. Beautifully. Now, if you have this tube, what's really cool about it is it actually screws tight. So we have possibly the world's cutest screwdriver. If there's a picture on the screen, but not adorable. So it is one and three quarter inches long. And it's got a fat little handle. See, very little. So cute. And it's perfect for keeping in your tin, in your and project bag. it's got glitter in it. I love it. And the thing... And this particular screwdriver, they made the screwdriver itself as gold. Gold. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that too. That's fine. Whereas, you know, most of them are silver. I mean, I doubt it's real gold. Don't get too excited. No. Of course not. <laughs> it's not a jewelry store screwdriver. Yeah. I don't know why I thought of that. I was like, ooh, is it gold? Okay. Also, these are my favorite scissors. Are they your favorite scissors? Yes, yeah. actually, they are. They're perfect. My favorite thing about them, well, the fact that they cut so well, but they're really soft on the handle. Yes, they are squishy. I don't like when my hands hurt from my scissors, so I love these. You know, when I used to do a lot of wool applique, I'd cut my wool with these because they cut great. All the way to the end, but they're sharp. You know, if you're sitting there cutting and cutting and cutting, which I would do, you know, I'd save it all, trace it all and get it ready, and then I'd cut it all. Um, by the time you get done, your hands, your fingers are just got grooves in them. So mm -hmm. with these scissors, no. So you don't get... But really all your trimming threads, really, with these for this project. Yeah. But but still, you'll use them for other things. Mm -hmm. They're worth the investment in those scissors. Yeah. And protect them from other people. Hide them. Keep and them in your project bag. Put your little... The sheath on it. Can't save your sheath. Do keep that because they are truly sharp all the way to the point. And so if you have them just thrown in your bag without that on there, you could You'll find make your finger. You'll find them in an ouchy way. <laughs> it's not how you want to do that. <laughs> like when you dropped the, when mom was making the sample of the, um, 
what's my word? What is that? Pin cushion? Yeah, thank you. A pin cushion. She oh. dropped the little pellets all over oh. the floor. In my sewing room at home. And you think you got them all, and then you look and you're like, oh my God, there's more. Yeah. So it's an ouchie. Barbie shoes on your feet. That's what you were saying. <laughs> Okay, so a few more notions. So this is a ruler. I know you're obsessed with these two rulers. So this is the size. I'll say it in my language, and then mom will take over and say it in her language. The ruler is eight and a half inches. So you trim your blocks in this quilt to eight and a half inches, your hand embroidery block, before you sew the borders of the block on. Now that makes it finished at eight inches. Which is also what I would say, except I call it an eight inch block. But it's really eight and a half inches. I, I can't think and finish that. I talk that. in finished quilts. Yeah, and I talk in cutting. But at any rate, the wonder, one of the wonderful things about this ruler is it'll assist you in other things as well. But I, um, when you trim trim these blocks up, we've got a placement guide mm -hmm. on there. So, But it's just easy to just go woof, woof, and then you can turn it and go woof, woof on the other side. We'll show you how to trim, but to me, I would use the placement guide we give you and this ruler and get it and then remove my placement guide and cut. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Don't actually cut on your placement guide. I feel like we kind of need to do well, that disclaimer. If you, if you have the perfect stack that Brittany suggests of what she has. Yeah, my perfect, perfect stack. stack. You know, because I use a light box and then I will have put down my placement guide, put my stitch block on top, put this on top You forgot of your it. glass. No, I don't use the glass in this case. You cut directly I mean, on your light pad? No, my cutting mat. Oh. oh. Excuse me. I put my cutting mat down. Okay. Let me back up. <laughs> Having a moment. Yes, just a minute. I forgot the most important part. Minor detail, everyone. Let's start light over. Box, light box, cutting mat that you can see through that is It comes with the light pad. It comes with it. And then <laughs> put your, your placement guide down, then your stitch piece on top, and then, then this, this ruler. And then you can pull your placement guide out and once you have it in position cut. and you can still cut exactly without having to move everything and drag it, you know. And we call that the perfect stack. Just add in the glass mat and the steady betty for when you're pressing things. For exactly. Alipay, et cetera. And once you have that set, that is an investment to get all of those. But once you do, you do anything. Mm -hmm. And that's all I use over and over and over is the perfect stack. But these, these rulers are great um, for, because they have the quarter inch marked so you can see exactly where your what's gonna actually where be visible your, what's in your gonna block. be visible in your eight inch field. You, you can see your finished block. You can see your finished block and your seam allowance. Merit in that. This blue is the seam allowance. And then these <laughs> little flowers that you see on here, not only do they make it cute, but they're also this grippy stuff. So it doesn't slip and slide on top. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. As is the blue around the edge. So I need to add that detail to the website for everyone. It's very nice because it stays where you put it, basically. And earlier today, you were using this ruler to trim something. I was using something. it on something else. And one of the things I was like, you all can't see these probably, but there's little tiny little dots. Tiny dots that are marked the quarter. No, they eighth, eighth of an inch, inch and half of an inch. And yeah, they're just I mean, an eighth, eighth of an inch and quarter. Away. And so you can actually see line things up very well. It's it's just a great ruler. And it of course, is. if you're doing something with diagonals, here's the diagonal lines. You know, you can Which really use this a lot. Is a perfect segue to the smaller ruler as you're talking about diagonal lines. Perfect segue. This is the ruler that we recommend you have on hand for that 13th month when you're doing. I don't know how many Casper triangles. I think it's 72, but I could be wrong. That sounds like not that many. There's I don't know. There's yeah. some. The pattern that we wrote tells you. <laughs> we just don't remember. I don't remember. It's been a while. But this is a two and a half inch ruler so that you get a two inch finished half square triangle. Yes. I just have to say and all so, the numbers. So when you are put this on your half square triangle, you'll have this nice diagonal line, whichever way you turn it. Mm -hmm. um, it won't matter if you have them all lined up just right. You can use this diagonal or that diagonal mm -hmm. and get it perfectly straight cut. And what is nice also, if you have made half square triangles in the past where we do an oversized method. So you make a half square triangle that's larger than what you need and then you trim it down to perfection. So you don't have to worry about messing up a seam allowance and then or having too just small a of a tiny little bit off. Exactly. Know? Because to me, the traditional method of doing it is hard to get them. Not as accurate. accurate. You can have a, a little problem when you press them, etc. Mm -hmm. So that's why we like this. Exactly. So these two rulers and 
I don't remember how much they are, but they're not that bad for rulers in the grand scheme of things. And you'll, you'll use it on a lot. lot of use out of them. Yes, absolutely. And then now we're on our very last item, and that is backing. So we are going to have backing, and it's going to ship quarterly. So when you purchase it, you can see the next ship date. So you go on and purchase it, you're reserving it, and then it is shipping every quarter. So the dates for shipping, I have it planned through 2025. Hold, please. So the first ship date will be January 8th of 2024. Second ship date will be April 8th of 24. Then July 8th of 24, October 8th of 24, January 8th of 2025. And then the rest of the 2025 dates I will publish as we get closer to 2025. And let me tell you what's wonderful about this backing. Do it, mama. <laughs> it's 108 inches wide. Wide back. Yes, yeah, so either if you're quilting it yourself, you won't have to have any seams or piece of backing. Mm -hmm. If you send it to a long armor, it's really easy for them to deal with as well. Exactly. So you get one and a half yards of wide back. If you are not using wide back or purchasing the backing from us, go calculate how much backing you need because we don't tell you how much you need for a regular piece of fabric. We're only it's one and a half inches, one and a half yards for wide back only. Right. Probably be three yards if it's not wide back. I don't know. Or more. I have to figure it out. Yeah. So there's some quilt math for you. Or you can just do the easy thing. Pick up the batting or backing, not batting, backing from us. And you can see on the screen that large floral print. That is what it is. And the name, are you ready for the name of this fabric? Sure. It's a hometown print by Lori Holt. And it is called Heirloom Sea Glass. And sea glass is the, the blue, 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 green. Color, blue green color in there. Yeah. Very pretty color. And it looks, you can see the binding with it. Mom specifically picked it so that it matches so well with that. It's all part of the same collection. I liked it. It's really cute. Yeah. Yeah. So backing, because I know a lot of you always request that we carry the backing. And yeah. So we're going to have the backing. With shipping terms and stuff, this is the easiest way for us to do it is Quarterly. Just quarterly. Exactly. You need to reserve it and then we'll ship it to you quarterly. Exactly. And the date that is all listed on the product. So you see that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it ships separately from the other items. So if you order, you sign up for the club, let's say you get a hoop and a screwdriver in your garden bag then and your backing, your backing isn't going to ship, right? We're not going to ship it until the next shipping date. So it'll be held separate from the rest of your order and the rest of your order will ship right away. That was my disclaimer. So no one calls and is like, my backing's not here. <laughs> We're going to say, yeah. And, and let me just, can I say something about the the shipping on the block of the months? And you sure can. And how that works? Yeah. This this is confusing for a lot of people. Um, so today's the 13th. So if you sign up today, your first block is not going to ship to you until the 12th of next month. Because we've already yep. passed the 12th. So if you sign up on... Um, the 20th of this month, you're going to get your first one sent to you mm -hmm. on the 12th. If you sign up on the 10th of, no of November, your first one will ship to you on the Two 12th. Two days later. Yeah. So we can't ship it to you until the next month. And by the way, you don't pay for it until it's shipping. So Right. Today you would pay your sign-up fee, and we will send you a free little goodie. Your gift. So cute. Right away. You're, and so a lot of people get a shipping notice that they got their a first shipping notice, mm -hmm. so to speak, with tracking number, because we do that with all of them. And then, then they'll be like, well, wait, you didn't send me my block. But However, we also send you an email automatically that reminds you of exactly this. Yeah, but it's still confusing, I guess, for some people. So anyway, I just wanted exactly. to help you out and let you know. Don't get don't get disappointed when you don't get it right away. No, be happy. You're, You're getting, getting a free gift. You get your free gift, but then... Also, I think the word disappointed should be banned from everything except terms of war or something. That's the nastiest word. I hate that word. Okay. Well, don't be sad. How's that? Don't be sad you're getting a free gift. That's ridiculous. <laughs> no. It's so much fun to make. How can you not get a cute little polka dotted bag from us and then open it and have a free gift? It's also, we, inside, we write about it, that it's a free gift. We remind you there, too. <laughs> and I don't think we um, explained one thing. Um, what? When you get a block of the month from us, your pattern actually comes oh, um, yeah. three hole punched. Yeah. And so you can keep it in a binder. So with this, you're going to have in your first 
box, your first box of block one, you're going to have a binder cover, the back page of your binder, and then the little skinny edge. But you have to buy your own binder. Yeah. But if you look at the you size can... of the box, the binder doesn't fit. Yeah. It's just, you know, get one of those binders. A one-inch binder. Like a white one that's got the clear front, the clear back, and the clear little side to mm -hmm. insert these in, and it's great. And it's super cute, especially if you do all of our block of the months, because then you have it do, 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 all in a line. I will say, if you're watching this and you've done Girls Life, Girls Life does not have a binder because it's the instructions are printed in little booklets, so it's different. And I'm not going to go rewrite 13 patterns, so it's not going to get a binder. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to stay how it is. But you will have um, a pattern every month that's three hole punched, but you do also have a stitch insert that's from Adornit. Um, with your colors listed that mm -hmm. will slip inside your pocket of your binder. Or you could get a sleeve. A fancy sleeve. Mom loves binders and the protective sheets. Paper protectors. Yeah, if you need any, you should just call her. <laughs> yeah, when, when I cleaned out my sewing room, um, I found lots of boxes of those. Uh -huh. Apparently, I like Thousands. Them. Oh, but... I also found some in binders that didn't have anything in them. <laughs> You're very organized. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is a very fun block of the month. Again, visit stitchesofloveQuilting.com. And this whole video has been all about the Garden Girls block of the month. And I can't tell you how much fun it was to stitch it. It's so cute. It's going to look so good in your house. Everyone in your family is going to want it. They're all going to be like me trying to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I brought it home. Oh my god, it looks so good in the mirror. Oh, really? Yeah, my rug has like a ton of color in it. And um I have two new chairs that sounds weird. They're kind of an army green. Sounds weird, but they're beautiful. And I draped it across the chair and it pulled in the teal in the rug. Oh my god. <laughs> Mom decorated my living room for me. It looks really good. <laughs> I wouldn't call it army green at all. But anyway, what do you call it? It's more of an avocado. Kind of frog green. It gave me heart palpitations after we bought the furniture. And then you wait six months for it to come. And then it came. And I loved it so much. I called him that same day and ordered another one just like it. Remember? Yeah, she was really worried. She oh, didn't. my God. She so trusted worried. me, but she didn't trust me. And then we were painting out paint colors. And I would hold up this fabric sample. I'm like, oh, my God. This goes with nuts. I was like, what have I committed to? But it's perfect. <laughs> it really is perfect. And this quilt matches it really, really well. Yeah, all the colors flow together. Yeah. Okay. In any case, come to my house. I'll tell you. I'll tell you about my quilt. I'll give you your address if you need it. There you go. <laughs> well, I don't know if we should do that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So we hope you will enjoy doing the Garden Girls block of the month with us at Stitches of Love Quilting. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. At the very top of our website is this magic word called support, and you can submit a ticket there. You can also just email orders at stitchesoflovequilting.com. You got to spell it all out, stitchesoflovequilting.com. Yep. And we'll be happy to help. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this. And now that you're done watching us, go sign up. And so you can do what I always do. Which is? Happy stitching. <laughs> happy stitching. Bye, everybody. <laughs>